keep me focused You want it, say so It's been a long time since you You ain't coming out your shell You ain't really been yourself Tell me what must I do uh-huh. Cause luckily I'm good at reading I wouldn't bug him but he won't stop cheesing And we can dance all day Hi guys, so um, as promised I am finally giving you guys my makeup tutorial. I've been avoiding this for such a long time just because filming makeup tutorials take such a long time. I have been avoiding it because um, it's kind of stressful filming tutorials. But finally, I got the courage and I decided to film this look for you guys because I'm not even capping. This is a highly requested video. I get at least two people asking me on Instagram every freaking time to give you um, a makeup tutorial. So I am finally giving you the most requested video of all time. So in case you love my makeup in case you've always wondered how other Miss does her makeup in case you are just seeing me for the first time and maybe my thumbnail caught you and you want to learn how i achieve this flawless look then this is the video for you i'm going to link the product in the description box below big disclaimer here first of all i am not a makeup artist um everything you're going to see in this video i learned on my own so in case you see me doing something wrong Please don't come at me, just um, correct me nicely in the comment section. Make sure you don't forget to like the video, make sure you don't forget to comment and make sure you share as well. Subscribe please if you haven't done so already and I know you are going to love it here so let's just get right into the video okay. So we are obviously going to start with a fresh face and what I do first is my eyebrows. I do my eyebrows before anything and this particular technique I recently started doing it and I really love it. I have extremely stubborn brows so what I do is that I use this got to be styling gel to just tame my brows and keep it in shape. So I grab a spoolie and use um, with the help of the spoolie I just used it to gel my eyebrows and direct it in the shape that I would like it to go. So I'm not really going to go in depth with my eyebrow routine. Just let me know if you would want an in depth tutorial of how I do my eyebrows, and I'm just going to give you that so you can just watch and learn. But while this is going on, let's have a chit chat. You know, there's some little chit chat. Let's talk about insecurities, which leads us to the definition. What is an insecurity? An insecurity is just an uncertainty or anxiety about oneself. In short, insecurities means self-doubt. So what makes a person insecure? Most of us feel extremely insecure sometimes, but some of us feel um, insecure most of the time. And you can be insecure due to the kind of childhood that you had, your past traumas, recent experiences of failure, loneliness, social anxiety, negative beliefs about yourself, or having a critical parent. So growing up, I had issues with uneven skin tone, that is my dark underarms and my dark elbows, and I naturally have a dark neck. Let me give you guys this quick story time. So when I was in JHS, I had this male teacher who always bullied me with the unevenness of my skin tone he gave me the nickname colors colors and i know um it sounds self-explanatory so to be honest i didn't think i had this issue with my skin so he started pointing it out it got to a point where it was believed i was bleaching like how i was young how how would i be bleaching at that young age i don't know if people used to bleach at that young age but to be honest at that age i didn't even know what bleaching was it made me self-conscious and insecure i never felt comfortable wearing strapless tops and these spaghetti tops you would never see me with my arms out to be honest you would never look at me being vulnerable for you guys today to think that i've never been a type of person to talk about these things but i decided to talk about this just because i get some of you asking if i ever feel insecure and how i do with insecurities yes i do feel insecure sometimes but i never make my insecurities define me look at yourself in the mirror and speak positive words to yourself to help boost your confidence don't let what others think about you make you have self-doubt that's just making them control your life emotions and most importantly mess with your mental health and you don't want that mental health is very important okay so anytime you're insecure remember what i just said look at yourself in the mirror and speak positive words to yourself just look at me today who would have thought that i'll be comfortable with my arms out without being self-conscious about my pigmentations i used to think it was a big problem we needed some fixing but with the help of jackie aina i found out that it is totally normal to have pigmentation as a black girl listen you have been criticizing yourself for years and it hasn't worked for you it didn't work for me either try approving of yourself and see what happens <laughs> enough of the chit chat 
<laughs> let's get back into the tutorial my next step is to prime my skin and i'm using the maybelline baby skin instant pore erasing primer this primer is supposed to smoothen your skin especially if you have large pores and indeed it does what it says it's going to do so i'm first going to spread it evenly with a brush i sincerely don't know why i do this particular step but i just love spreading it with a brush first and after i'm going to blend it thoroughly again with my fingertips <laughs> I'm now going to spot correct with my LA Girl Pro Conceal just to prevent my dark spots from peeking through my foundation. I allow the concealer to dry down a bit before I go ahead and blend it with a brush. So I prefer blending with a brush just because blending with a brush maintains the coverage and I feel like blending with a beauty blender just picks the product off your face and it just prevents it from getting the coverage that you want it to get. So I found out that blending with a brush is way better than blending with a beauty blender if you want to get the maximum effect. After blending with a brush, I'm going to take my Real Techniques blender and lightly blend the concealer just to get rid of all the harsh lines. I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Liquid Foundation in the shade Warm Sun and I'm going to apply that using my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I recently started using this foundation and it's supposed to be a full coverage but I don't think it's exactly full coverage because I can still see my spots peeking through them after applying my foundation but I'm not angry about it, Sha. I eventually make it work one tip for a flawless face beat is blending blending is key when it comes to makeup i tend to spend a lot of time blending my makeup which is probably the longest process in makeup application but trust me it's worth all the time it takes don't forget to blend the foundation down to your under chin else you are going to look like you have a mask on and believe me your makeup will turn out horrendous i know my foundation looks lighter but that's because i got a tan but just trust the process okay we are going to make this work one thing I realized about blending first with a beauty blender is it soaks up most of the products which means you'd use more products if you blend with a beauty blender than blending with a brush. So I like to first blend with a brush and finally go over everything with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to highlight with LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Creamy Beige. I love a very bright under eye, that's why I use this particular shade. So I apply the concealer underneath my eyes, my cupid bow, my chin and the bridge of my nose. I don't highlight my forehead because I'm already blessed <laughs> with a big forehead and highlighting it is only going to make it appear bigger. Listen, don't sleep on LA Girl concealers because they get the work done. I'm not gonna lie there are a lot of fake ones on the Ghanaian market so just make sure you get them from the right source i'm going to blend the concealer out using my real techniques deluxe crease brush i used to be a beauty blender type of girl till i switched to brushes and my oh my my makeup game went to another level but what i do first is i allow the concealer to dry down a bit before i blend it out it's quite watery so i just let it sit to get tacky before i blend it out and letting it sit for a while before blending also helps with the coverage so when I'm blending, I try to keep the concealer exactly where I put it and slowly blend it outwards to keep the coverage in place. I blend my nose highlights with a beauty blender just because I don't have a skinny brush for it. So I just pinch my beauty blender and use that to blend my nose highlights. When blending my under eye highlight, I try to blend it exactly where I place it to help maintain the coverage and I slowly blend the extra products left on the brush outwards. Blending with this brush is so easy because it gets the job done exactly how I want it. And one great thing I love about these Real Technique brushes is it doesn't leave you with streaks unlike other brushes I've tried in the past. What did I tell you about LA Girl Pro Concealers? Just look at how smooth and flawless it turns out. Don't sleep on these concealers at all. I 
I use the excess concealer left on my brush to prime my eyelids. The blending definitely doesn't end there. As I said, blending is key when it comes to makeup. So after I blend everything out with the brush, I then go ahead and blend thoroughly again with my damp beauty blender. And as you can see, I try to do it with light hands just to prevent the beauty blender from picking up the product. So just lightly blend once more with a beauty blender and you're good to go. Now is the time for us to add some definition to our face by contouring and I'm going to do that using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Dark Cocoa. I'm going to use that to snatch my cheekbones and my jawline reduce that forehead because this is the only time that i have the chance to reduce my forehead and i sincerely don't need a nose contour but i just do that just because it makes me feel fancy <laughs> i don't know what brush this is but it's just a regular flat dense brush and i'm going to use it to blend my contour one tip when it comes to blending your contour is to blend upwards to help lift your face and give you that snatched cheeks that you want my jawline also gets some contour just to prevent a demarcation between my makeup and my actual skin. You get it? If you don't get it, forget about it. <laughs> I know I'm looking kind of crazy right now, but just trust the process, okay? Trust the process. As you can see, after blending my contour, it just leaves me with harsh lines. So I'm going to get rid of all those harsh lines and just get a uniform look by going back with my foundation brush and blend everything together get rid of all those harsh lines and after blending with the foundation brush i'll just go back in with my beauty blender and go over everything one more time just to achieve that flawless blend as i said blending is key it takes up most of the time but it's definitely worth it so no matter how long it takes you to blend your makeup just do it to achieve the flawless beat that you want I'm now getting rid of the harsh contour lines on my nose with the beauty blender so I'm just using the bottom part of the beauty blender with little to no product to just lightly blend the nose contour while still keeping the contour there so it's like you can see it but you can't see it you get it? <laughs> This is the first setting powder I ever purchased ever since I started applying makeup and I have never gone back to any other powder which is this black opal soft velvet finishing powder in the shade medium. It leaves me with this smooth flawless finish which I cannot live without. The finishing product is amazing. I really love this powder. Before I go ahead and set my face, this particular step is extremely important. Make sure you blend your under eye concealer very, very well before you go ahead and set your face with the powder. Else, you are just going to set your you are going to set creases, and it is not a great look. Trust me. So just take your time. Grab your beauty blender again. Go over the concealer one more time before you set it with a powder. And I just pick the powder blow the excess off before i set it because i don't want to look cakey do you get it because if you just pick the powder and just apply it straight ahead you're just going to end up looking cakey and it's not a great look we want our makeup to look like skin even though we have it on we want people to think that mm, we want the makeup to look like skin so it is really important i'm not necessarily going to refer to my powder application as baking because I first press the powder into my skin first before going over it and sort of like baking it but not baking baking I don't know if you get it I don't really bake my face because I don't want to look cakey so I just leave it on for just some few minutes and I just brush it off it's 
now time to set our contour and i'm going to do that using the fenty beauty powder in the shade nutmeg and i use this dense brush to just set my contour definitely one of my favorite styles when it comes to beating my face so i'm going to go into my zulu by juvia's place palette and mix those two shades and use that as my blush there are definitely no rules to make up so you just got to do what works for you which is why i prefer to use eyeshadow as my blush i've had this palette for a bit over two years now it's probably expired by now but am i going to discard it <laughs> no it gets the work done so i'm still using it anyway uh, as you can see, I've already hit the pan because I love those two shades in it so much. I love a cute splashed nose, so my nose is not exempted. I'm finally going to carve out my contour with my powder just so we look more snatched. You get what I mean? <laughs> This is the Real Techniques blush brush but I'm just going to use it as my powder brush because it also gets the work done. So I'm just going to use it to buff away the excess powder on my face and just blend out my contour and my harsh blush. As you can see, I went in a little too much so I'm just going to use the brush to blend everything. I almost forgot to set my forehead so I'm just doing that right now and I'll go over everything with my brush and make sure everything comes together. I'm not really an eyeshadow type of person if you didn't already know so most of the time I try to go subtle on my eye look so I just mix those two shades the brown shade and the orange shade from my Zulu by Juvia's Place palette as you can see this is one of my favorite palettes I have other palettes but I abuse this particular one so much I've even hit the pan and it's expired by now but I'm still not going to discard it so I'm just going to use those two shades mix it up and use a fluffy eyeshadow brush to just apply it all over my eyelids in no particular sequence at all i'm just going to keep building it up till i'm satisfied with how it turns out this is definitely the one step that i cannot do without which is using an eyeliner lining my eyes just makes me feel awake i don't know what it is about using eyeliners but it just makes me feel awake so i just use the nk makeup matte eyeliner just to line my eyes and i prefer liquid liners to pen liners just because pen liners don't really appear as dark as i would want my liner to appear so i always go in for liquid liners but you can go in for whatever works for you but i prefer the liquid liners to the pen liners it's officially time to highlight our face just because i love a good glow so i'm going to use this wet and wild mega glow highlighting palette and i'm mixing those two shades just to highlight my cheeks the bridge of my nose the tip of my nose and i love highlighting my chin as well and in between my forehead i don't know why i do that but i love doing that it's just my personal preference so it's not mandatory to do it you can choose to do it and you can choose to leave it out and i'm also going to highlight my inner corners as well with the tip of my finger i don't really know what mascara this is but once i find out i'm going to let you know but i'm not really big on using really expensive mascaras because i feel like they all do the same thing so I just go in for any type of mascara at all because you definitely achieve the same effect. I don't really do too much to my lips. Uh, I love my natural lip color so I just like to keep it just the way it is. So I just grab a wet wipe and wipe off any product off my lips. I grab this regular pencil. This pencil is inexpensive. It costs less than a dollar. And I just use that to line my lips. I don't overline. I just love to follow my natural lip shape and just go over it so after i line my lips i just grab a regular clear gloss and go right on top of it but before i apply the gloss i make sure i blend the pencil with my finger because you are going to look 
crazy if you just leave the lines there just like that do well to blend it out with your finger before you go ahead to apply your clear gloss on top of it the final step is to set my face and i do that using the wet and wild photo focus matte finish setting spray i dropped my setting spray once and for some reason it stopped spraying correctly so i just have to keep pulling it to spray which is a bit of a hassle but i'm not mad about it Sha. it still gets the work done i fan my face to help make the setting spray dry down a little bit and then i go over it once more with a beauty blender just to evenly distribute the setting spray over my face i like this particular trick on tiktok and it works it really works